Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. Girl, it is Saturday, and the weekend is finally here. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the weekend to finally relax, unwind, have a little bit of fun, you know. And we are in October, girl. This is the first, first um, weekend of October. And I, I already know about like literally Halloween parties happening everywhere. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys are up to this weekend. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. October is all about having fun. So like if you are going to have parties every single weekend for the next four weekends, I'm there with you. Okay. I hope that you already have your four different customs ready. Anyways, <clears throat> right now we're going to talk about the real housewife of Salt Lake City and a little bit of tea that we have related, Miss Meredith Marks, okay? But before we start, if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop, where I spill the tea every single day. And no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, I got you hooked with everything that is happening in the pop culture street, with the Bravoverse and more. So if you want to always know what is going on don't forget to subscribe 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 and hit that notification bell all right before we start it is uh, we have to give a shout out to the partners of this video and are the people from this loyalty okay look if you have been following me for a while you know that i love to travel around the world always find that like the best deals everywhere and i have been actually using this loyalty for a while but now we are finally partnering up so this loyalty is a membership subscription that will give you discounts in hotels and restaurants all around the world. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go and check it out, go to the link on the description below. And don't forget to use my code M-A-M-A-L-A-0-9 -A -A and you will get the first month for free so you can actually check it out. All right, guys, we need to talk about Miss Meredith Marks and I'm trying to like navigate this tea and see how can I give it to you because you know that one thing we learn not to do on Real Housewives on or on Bravo is to get political. You know, we never talk about politics over here. Like whatever, whatever thoughts you might have about it, you know, it's yours. And we honestly, we are separating a state from church from here, you know, but, but anyways, this is something that it has been cutting you know, attention from anyone, and I kind of like wanting to know your opinion on this whole situation. As you know, one of the biggest uh, storylines from Marilyn Marks this season is uh, the fact that she has uh, made the decision to get bad Miss Bad. I hope that I'm saying that right, you know, which basically is the fact that she is becoming. Jewish, you know, for a very long time. I mean, they are Jewish. Her husband is Jewish. Her kids were raised Jewish, you know. So she's basically kind of like a full on Jewish person, except for the fact that she has never been uh, bad mitzvah. So she, if you watch the show, she basically said that she never did it before, right? Uh, and she is just doing it right now because now she understand, understands a little bit more of what is behind actually going through all of this process and it's not something that she wanted to do because it was imposed on her you know i think like every single religion out there has like this little um how you said that these little um traditions you know that you do when you are a certain age you know for example i grow up catholic and when you are uh, of certain age, usually around, I want to say 10 or 11 years old, you get, you go and you get, uh, your first communion, something like that, you know, but like Mary was saying, you know, it's usually something that is just imposed to you. Like I, I know when I did mine, I didn't care at all about like the religion whatsoever. I just wanted to do it because of the gift at the party. And that was pretty much it, you know? So uh, it's, it's they always make you do that, but you never like go through the process of like really understanding what it's about and if this is something that you want to do for you, right? So uh, that's the reason that Merit is putting 
like on her now i know that she is like i think she's like 40 or something so like she definitely waited a long time and some people are thinking that you know she's definitely just doing it because she wants a storyline Kind of like, I don't know if you, if you watch Real House of Orange County, Tamara Josh did something similar when she get baptized. Uh, again, I think when she was like 40 or 41 or something like that, you know? So, it, 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 and people were saying, oh, you just need a storyline because that's doing nothing for you, you know? Now, it will, it will depend, you know, what Rishi really wants to do with that. Um, <clears throat> but of course, Given the situation that we are in the world right now, a lot of people took that on uh, X and start really going after Meredith, you know, and basically almost can, 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 can selling her for wanting to become Jewish, you know? So she did a whole statement. Well, not a whole statement, but she definitely, like, clap back at everyone um so for example someone said i'm super disappointed that this platform endorse endorses messages like this in times like this your whole, whole public is queer wake up you are gonna look back a year or two from now and you're gonna deeply regret this i don't know what had one thing had to do with the other but anyways so mary marx decided to clap back and she said i will not film a shame to be Jewish ever. That is the one statement I am making here. And if you have a problem with that, it is your problem, not mine. And your problem has a name. It's called anti-Semitism. In another tweet, she says, it's infuriating how dense some people are. Take my words at face value. There is no hidden meaning. I spread love and positivity, and that is all. Anyone saying anything else is the one spreading hate, as I don't speak in words of hate, only love. Hashtag the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And I think that that is something that we have to like really agree. I'm so sorry, but Mary Marks has lived to spread love on many communities. You know, she is uh, an active member of or an active ally of the lgbt community because she's continually support her son uh brooks uh she goes to every single charity that she can do she go to every single blood award you know so i understand that this is a topic that is very sensitive to a lot of people you know and everyone like i said everyone will have their own opinions about it but you know this is her religion this is her um the way that she lives, you know, and just like Lisa Barlow is Mormon 2.0, you know, maybe she's also Jewish 2.0, you know, and it, it, it's a little, it, it, it's a little bit weird, but we need to understand that everyone has their own point of views, you know, and in this very uh, powerful topics like religion and politics, you know, we really need to make sure that we understand where we are and what we want to put across, you know, and not just going around uh, attacking absolutely everyone when you don't even know where they really stand or what they really are, you know. But I know X is a battle war, and everyone kind of like goes up there and gives their own opinion about it. So, anyways, let me know what you guys feel on the comments below about Miss Meredith Marks and her statements. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.